this guide shows you how to download and install CD burning software CD Burner XP. First of all, we need to open our browser. In the address bar at the top of the screen, delete out whatever's in there and type www.cdburnerxp full stop se. Then either press the enter key or the return key on your keyboard or left click the arrow key next to the address bar. If you're using Microsoft Edge, you will not have an address bar at the top of the screen, quite possibly. So therefore, just type it in the search box in the middle of the screen and uh, then either left click the arrow here or press enter or return on your keyboard. Once you have this page appear, click on the CD Burner XP free download button just here. If you're using Edge, you'll see this here. What do you want to do with CDBXP underscore setup and the version number? Well, click on Save As. It'll then ask us where do we want to save it to. So probably best to save it in the Downloads folder. So left click the Downloads folder, then click Save. Once it's downloaded, left click Open Folder. You can then double click the cdbxp underscore setup file to start the installation. If you're running Internet Explorer, you'll get do you want to run or save? Well, click on the little arrow just to the neck, just to the right of save, and then left click save as. And then we select downloads as our destination then we click save. Then we left click open folder and we double click on cdbxp underscore setup to start the installation. If we're running um, Google Chrome, then when we left click CD Burner XP, you will see this appear, cdbxp underscore setup appear in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Once it's finished downloading, click on the arrow next to the, uh, the download and click show in folder. Then again, double click cdbxp underscore setup to start the installation. And if we're running Firefox, when we click on CD Burner XP, it may ask us to save the file. If it does, left click Save File. And you'll notice at the top of the screen, this little blue arrow here. Left click on that once. Click on the little folder to the right and double click cdbxp underscore setup to start the installation. When we double click it, it might ask us, do you want to run this file? If so, left click run. The screen might darken and it might say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We'll make sure it says here that uh, it's CD Burner and the verified publisher is this and the file origin is downloaded from internet. So if that matches, then left click yes. The installation wizard will now start. So left click on next. Click the circle to the left of I accept the agreement, then left click next. Make sure you're okay with the uh, the path that it's going to install the uh, the files to. As standard, if you're not sure what you're doing, you can leave this. But if you'd rather install it somewhere else on your hard drive, then you can change it here. Um, like I say, if, if if you're not sure, then just just leave this be. Left click next. It'll ask us, uh, do we want to install a uh, uh, like an offer 
I'd always say, say no thanks to this. Left click the circle next to no thanks and then click next. And then it asks us what languages we want to install. Again, you can just leave this if you're not sure or you can untick all the languages you don't want and just leave the language that uh, you, you need it in. English is installed as standard if you untick all of these, but uh, like I say, it's no big deal if you just leave them as be and left click next. Again, this we can tick and untick these optionally, but as standard, I would say, just leave them as they are, then left click install. CD Burner XP is now installing. Okay, it may come up, say, how do you want to open this? Um, just click OK if it does. It doesn't always come up with this, but it, it might be coming up with a, uh, a yeah, comes up with a, uh, a website, which uh, basically says, thank you for downloading. You can close this down if this does come up. It doesn't always appear this. Okay, and then we left click finish. And CD Burner will now start to load. It's asking us our, our language, so we can select here whatever language we want. I'll leave it as default English and then left click OK. And there we go, CD Burner XP has loaded. I'm just gonna exit out of this, so I'll left click exit. I'm gonna close down all these windows that are open on the screen and you should now see, yeah, there's a uh, an icon for CD Burner XP. Double click on that and uh, CD Burner XP will open. And that's it. That's how to install CD Burner XP. Hope this guide helps.